Well, good morning once again. This is the first episode of a new video series. It's going to be called Turning Tips. Very short little tips or techniques that I can share with you in just a few minutes. I promise they're going to be short. My first one is simply putting a circle on the end of a piece of wood. And you might do that if you're forming a spigot or a tenon. You might do that if you're uh, putting an inlay in the top of a box. There are many reasons to do that. And ordinarily, we may use some dividers to do that. We may mark that circle with a vernier caliper like that and, and put these long points into the spinning piece of wood. Now, there's something about that that I just have a hard time doing. I do it once in a while, but as an overall procedure, I don't like to do it. Now let me readjust my camera and I'll show you another really good technique that I hope catches on. Now there are a few situations where it might be appropriate to uh, use a pair of dividers and put that mark in the end of your blank. Right now I'm going to kind of bypass that and talk more about using vernier calipers. So I'm going to set this to the opening of a spigot for a set of two inch jaws and we'll just set that right there. Now, one method that we ordinarily see on YouTube and on wood turning channels is with the lathe spinning we put this uh, this side of the uh, vernier calipers into that spinning piece of wood. Now it's important not to put the opposite leg in there because if that catches that's going to come back at you. So there's a little bit of risk right there. So uh, I would turn the lathe on and make that mark. Now here's one aspect of this. I've got a live center in here which is really in the way. And the way I've got this chucked up, I've just got this jammed up against my my two inch jaws so I really can't take the tail center away alright so it's difficult to get in there and make that mark for my procedure for making this uh, circular mark on there is I just use a pencil now I'm gonna guess at this okay because it doesn't matter at this point if I'm really accurate or not turn my lathe on and I'm gonna just take my pencil and make a mark. And I put my calipers back up there. Now I'm I'm uh, quite a bit off right there, but I can also see exactly where I need to be with my pencil line. Let me make an adjustment on that. Right there. I'm just right on the money. Okay. Anyway, that's a very simple technique that you can employ. Let me uh, make this tenon and I'll reverse this. We'll do it one more time without the tailstock. Now I mentioned earlier that you could do this with a pair of dividers and simply contact the spinning piece of wood set up your dimension that you want and be very careful about putting both points into the spinning piece of wood and also you want to trail this down you don't want to have this point sticking up or you're going to have a problem so level or maybe trailing down a little bit but let's do it with a pencil let's go back to our calipers and I'll just arbitrarily set a dimension on here and I can kind of look at that and kind of get a ballpark idea where it's going to be turn my lathe on make a mark with my pencil and you can actually make a couple marks if you want to
So I'm fairly close to that outside pencil mark on that. And that's where my spigot would be or whatever I'm trying to turn. Very simple technique and uh, make a mark with the pencil and do it that way. I think that is far safer. I'm not going to have a disaster with the pencil. But if I'm not careful with my vernier calipers or my dividers, I could have an accident. So thanks for tuning in and uh, episode one of Turning Tips. Thanks for watching.